For 30 years, Dr. Bert Vogelstein of Johns Hopkins has been trying to unlock the secrets of cancer. It was a total mystery, a black box. It was like some plague from outer space. But revolutionary research is discovering how cancer cells work, what they're made of, how they behave, and the genetic mutations that cause them. That's giving scientists new targets so that rather than blasting the whole body with chemotherapy and radiation, smart drugs are being developed that strike just the cancer without poisoning the patient. We know that simple changes in, in the bases and the building blocks of DNA are what's responsible for cancer. Those simple changes, or mutations, cause cancer cells to grow uncontrollably. But new drugs can stop the process in some cancers. Herceptin is a drug that targets proteins on the surface of the cell. Gleevec works inside the cell to block cancer's growth and Avastin shuts down the blood vessels that feed the tumor, literally starving it to death. These are all called targeted therapies. Stephanie Grimes was diagnosed with an advanced form of breast cancer. I looked at it as, Let, let's attack this, it's aggressive. Doctors at the Johnson Cancer Center at UCLA recommended she try an experimental combination of Herceptin and Avastin without chemotherapy. This approach is highly experimental and not for everyone. But Stephanie's response was dramatic. Show me what you got. Hey. Literally, it was going away. There's still some disease that we see, but in a short period of time, it continues to get less and less. It's a miracle, you know. It's, it's amazing how well the drugs worked. Gleevec is also a superstar in the world of targeted therapies. Some nice deep breaths for me, please. George Dar started taking Gleevec six years ago when he was diagnosed with a form of leukemia called CML. Hemoglobin In just two weeks, his count. blood count Perfect. became normal. Suddenly just enormous amounts of energy. Recently, George's leukemia began to outsmart Gleevec. Luckily, there was a new medication for him called Sprycell. Fortunately, these new drugs have come along to, that are able to uh, work on these new mutations. In the lab, Dr. Vogelstein and his team have been hard at work to find more mutations to target. Just recently, he discovered a surprising number in colon and breast cancer. Okay. We expected to find um, 10 uh, alterations or so uh, in a cancer, in each cancer. And how many did you find? We found about 100. And those discoveries could pave the way for the development of other cancer drugs that destroy the dangerous runaway cells without destroying the patient's quality of life. Five, six, figure eight. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, Los Angeles.